Okay, turns out with the last video, oh, whoops. Last video, I actually clicked on the thing and I couldn't press F12 anymore. So what I got now is a Silverberry Scaly Hair. Holy cow, this is actually a good one. Holy. So basically, when I'm, oh, it's an Oleaster. It's a, okay. I'm going to talk about it a little bit, um, basically talking about what it is. It's a uh, 50 to 70 species of flowering plants. I'm not going to say the family just because of the fact it's, yeah. Um, generally, it's from Asia oh, and Australia, although there are some in um, America, Philippines. Yeah, so the picture I'm getting for these is about the same as the picture, as the visuals of what I'm looking at right now. It is pretty interesting because you're, it's, it's a flower, basically, but it's, uh, small. Um, <clears throat> yeah. It's pretty interesting. So, yeah, um, because, yeah, it shows... What things er, can look like in, um, well, the kind of things I can't get to by myself normally. I have to have them, I have to receive them through some unusual method. The fruit fly, this, and the honey bee leg, and the dragonfly wing, I'm all getting from, uh, or all got from the same location. It's just, grandma got them, don't know where. She just kind of gave them to me and then walked away. So yeah, but yes, yeah, interesting. So basically, the I, I could just start listing facts, but I don't think many of you care that these plants are good at growing in low nitrogen soil. <laughs> I mean, some do, but or some would, but you know, it's just sort of a. It is interesting though, because I still don't know what's going on with the area around the flowers. It looks like salt almost. But compared to the last thing I looked at, these are definitely a lot more um, visible, I guess. The last one was a fruit fly that was almost uh, all squished against the, uh, what's it called? You get the slide, and it's just, it, it didn't, it wasn't visible. You can see the legs, you could see the antenna. And you could see the wings, but you couldn't see the body. This one, luckily, I mean, it is kind of squished, but you can definitely see a lot of detail in there. Like, you can see the individual strands. You can see the, It looks like a spider web, almost. <sighs> I keep moving it because it's so small. <laughs> and, yeah. So, it's weird. The blue ones seem to be... A, a, like, you're able to see the individual strands a little bit better. The pinkish reddish ones seem a little bit more uh, connected. Okay, but one thing I don't understand is why they are so different. Like top left, um, if I can, looks somewhat like a normal flower, but bottom middle, that looks kind of different, almost like some kind of mushroom or something, or a, I don't know, some kind of bug. Which I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm also not entirely sure where on the plant this is from. I mean, I know it's a um, scaly hair, but... Give me a second. Yeah, there's definitely some people who have... Uh, some cooler looking visuals on this but yeah I'm just going up based on what I can oh it's a, a common pre-prepared microscope slide okay um yeah interesting looking um yeah, sorry, I got distracted. But yeah, because basically, when you're looking at it normally, like just through your eyes, it's just a whole bunch of dots. It's about how good my microscope is, because, like, I probably can't see the one on the, the blue one on the left, 
I can't see the other two, but they're just dots. In fact, they actually don't look like separate dots. They look like one big one. That's how small they are. Like that looks like one. I mean, the combination of colors do look like multiple because of the fact that they don't blend together well. But yes, these are very hard to see, but yeah. Why is that one all bunched up like that, but the rest doesn't? Hmm. But I'm gonna be doing a uh, relatively slower, more elongated videos for a while, just because of the fact that I kind of went through um, things to look at way too quickly, and I just couldn't keep up. It's either that or post much less often, and I'm already posting slowly enough as is. So, yeah, unfortunately, this is about, it's kind of a necessity. Um, but, yeah. Oh, and uh, I do have two other things I could look at under the microscope, but unfortunately, both of them kind of smell. Well, not two things, I mean two things beyond what I'm going to do today. I, I have two things beyond, uh, which I do need to, uh, it's called do later because again they uh one's a bat but it's also kind of dead and rotting the other's a uh, grasshopper that my cat got well not my cat but you know it's the group of cats that live in the same house as me um ditto the smaller gray one yeah, you got a grasshopper. It was an interesting one, because grasshoppers, you know, there's a lot of varieties. But my favorite ones have always been the black grasshoppers with the red wings. This is one of them. I'm not sure how uh, it will look, considering it was in the cat's mouth. But <clears throat> let's hope. Anyway, but yeah. Um, so far, I've done, like, th this, is, this will probably be my third grasshopper. No, second one. My first one was one of the thin ones, and it was white. But yeah, being able to look at a different kind of uh, grasshopper would be good. I also want to get one of the really, really big ones, like the size of your hand. Um, Put it in the freezer, and then look at it in our microscope, because the thing about big bugs is you can look a lot closer, because it's giant. You know, I mean, it would be difficult, because it's three-dimensional, and I'm kind of unnerved by bugs. Like, I like bugs, but I hate bugs. I don't like really, really large, like, grasshoppers. Um, and spiders, I'm fine with them if they're just tarantula shaped. But if they're more spindly legged, daddy long leg shaped, I'm not okay with them. I mean, I don't like spiders at all. But I have a worse. Dis I have a larger dislike of them if they have spindly legs. Like, I looked at two spiders before. One was, uh, like a wolf spider or something like that, and the other one was Daniel Longlegs. I'm fine with the wolf spider y thingy. Not fine with the other one. <coughs> uh, my microscope froze. Okay, we're good. Give me a second, I'm trying to get back to the center. Okay. Um, let's take a look at all the individual ones. I just want to take a, one quick go through again. Okay, far left is. Am I going the right way? No. Far left is this. I know it looks like far right, but it's based on my angle. It's far left. So we've got this, this. Here's the big chunk. There's some right below the big chunk, right? Where are they? Shouldn't there be some blue ones? Like, directly below the big chunk? Ah, they're to the side. Wait, no, is that not the same big chunk I'm seeing? Sorry, it's very difficult to down. Like, oh, wait. The ones below the big chunk 
are this and this. I forget everything's backwards. But you want to go through again and show you? And yeah, this has been silver ba berry scaly hair.